chicks are jealous and all the dudes were looking. There's no girls in my class. I'm the only girl. Oh, no. What? You gotta transfer out that class. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Asia18. For you those of you who do not know, and if you do not know, well, I just told you, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, please. You know Warning. you want to. Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing a short, quick, get ready with me. This is what I'll be doing, so no need to explain, and the title says it all. So if you want to see how I got this, then just keep on watching. So if you guys know, I usually do like my eyeshadow first and my brows and everything. Then I move on to my face, but because I'm not putting any eyeshadow on today, so I need to make sure I, you know, put like my foundation and my eyelids and all that. So I'm just gonna do my brows and then we'll move on to the face and then finish up with like the lashes and stuff because I will be wearing those lashes. So to do my brows, I'm gonna be using my favorite, the Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So let's do it. So I'm like a huge fan of this um, pomade. Ever since I got it, like, I've not stopped using it. Sometimes like I'll try to use like pencils, but they just don't work out for me because I don't know, I just, I never really use pencils anyway. So when I first started doing my brows, I always use a powder. I use the e.l.f. powder. What's the e.l.f. powder? No, it was like JLB. I don't know what that stands for, but I used to use their powder at the beginning with when I started when I first started doing my brows and then I decided to buy this pomade because I know like a lot of people were using it on YouTube and I was like yeah YouTube made me buy it and I really do like it I think it's a fantastic purchase and when I run out I probably will buy it again but let's just get these brows knocked out and I'll be right back all right so just to set my brows I went in with this ready set of brow by Benefit Cosmetics because um, I really do like it. I think that I like what I like the most is the applicator because I feel like all gels are the same in my opinion. So I really like this applicator. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. So I really like this applicator. Like I like how it's flat, but it also has it on the sides and the top as well. So you can really like work them brows and put them into place where you want them. So that's what I really like. That's why I use that brow gel. All right, so let's move on to my face. And now that my brows are done, I'm using these two primers to put on my face. This Wet n Wild one is for like my T-zone area because that's where I'm most pores. And then this e.l.f. one is just everywhere else. It's a tone adjusting one. I don't necessarily, well, ne right now, I feel like I do need it, like some spots like where my pimples are and stuff. But usually I don't really need the tone adjusting. I just like their primers. I think they feel really nice, but they didn't have the one I wanted, so I got that one. I mean, I feel like they all work the same, so it's whatever. So where am I going, you might ask? You probably don't care, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I am going to class, and I go to class on Thursdays. That's my NC class, the other classes I do online. And so I get ready really early because like, I have to drive so far. So, I usually film these on Thursdays, but we're well, not usually like all my videos, but when I'm like getting ready with me whenever I say that, I usually am just going to class and I'll be Morning. filming these on Thursdays. Usually I post these videos on like Mondays because I do my weekly empties on Sunday on Saturdays. So yeah. Just a little tidbit about me. I feel like you guys don't know anything like personally about me because I don't really tell you guys anything personal. Warning. Maybe one day. One day, one day. So I use a beauty blender to um, press my primer into my skin because I'm very, like, I have a lot of texture around my T-zone area and it really helps to, like, just put it right in to your skin and where you want it to be. And too much rubbing can really, like, make your skin um, be more textured and it kind of defeats the purpose if you're trying to go for that flawless look which you know that's always the goal in my opinion so that's why i do that around my t-zone area everywhere else i really would just rub it but i already had it in my hand so i just kept using it so i need a little extra coverage today so i'm gonna be going with my infallible pro glow concealer and i'm going to be applying that before my foundation and probably my foundation just because I need a little extra help underneath my under eyes but I'm not gonna be putting as much 
and before foundation. But as always, you guys already know, I'm gonna be going in with my Fenty Beauty foundation. I'm in the number, I'm in the color 350, and I'm just gonna apply that all over. I really like this because you can make this like skin like if you want, or you can make it like full coverage. I always kind of do like right in between. Do you guys have any other tips to prevent so much texture? Like, I know the pressing of your foundation and your primer in kind of helps, but I mean, like, I still need a little bit more help. So if you guys have any tips, that'd be awesome. So I already applied concealer underneath my eyes. I just went ahead and did that. I mean, it's nothing new. I'm gonna apply some translucent powder underneath my eyes to set that. I'm gonna use the matte one because I don't really know what the shimmer ones. Fun contour, I'm going to be using my Norm for people who watch me all the time. I'm going to be using this Contour Wet n Wild stick and I'm just going to apply this on my face. Hey, and I like to set my contour, my cream contour with a powder and I just use this highlight and contour palette by IBY Beauty and I do a mix of contour number two and contour number three. Think I look good. So I only have a, f a few more things to do but I like to put lashes, I like to put lashes, I like to put the glue on my lashes when I know I'm about to put my lashes on so that they're already be tacky by the time I get to them. So I have these Pure Cosmetic lashes. Uh, they are bombshell. So I will be lashing or putting some glue on these babies and yeah. So for my highlight, I'm gonna be going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Highlight. I love this stuff. I won't be going overboard today. Morning. And now I will be putting on my liner and my lashes, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, so now that I have my lashes on and my liner, I'm going to do my lips now. And I'm going to be going in with Ruby Woo by MAC. Warning. Everyone's favorite. Okay, so I decided to add a gloss on top of this. I did the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, and this is in the color Girly Lip Gloss. So I put this on top, and it gave it a nice little touch. Hey guys, so let me know what you think. Hey guys, so that's the end of my video. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe for me, please. You know you want to. All right, guys, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.